a bomb, a basura, me have a bomb, a trumpet This will be a bomb, a basura, me have a bomb, a trumpet, yo Hey guys, it's Sandra, welcome back to my channel So, on today's video, I filmed this makeup look This is like a cranberry eye-ish I don't know what to call this look yet But, we'll go with cranberry for now But, I love this eye look I've actually done this before and I like the way that it turned out, so I wanted to just go ahead and do it again and film it. I did it like a couple of weeks back, but it's such a nice look. It's actually perfect for fall. This is like, this is screaming fall colors. You guys, I don't know if you already know, but fall is my favorite time of the year. I love fall, and I'm so excited we're stepping into fall, even though it still feels like summer in Texas. But we're stepping into fall, and I'm excited about that. But yeah, you guys, it's such a nice look. I like it a lot. It's really easy to recreate. And um, yeah, I try, I try to keep my intro short. So I'm going to keep this short, okay? If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit that button. Over there, there, wherever it is. Just hit it and subscribe and join the family. And leave me a cool comment down below, you guys. Let me know what you think of this look. And I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Hi. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start priming my face with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. Yeah, I know mine is all beat up, but... <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the NYX um, Stay Matte Powder just to set my primer. And then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. I, I'm actually starting to like this foundation. I used to kind of hate it, but... You know, I'm, it's growing on me. <laughs> I'm just going to use that as my foundation for today. It's a really good foundation. And I'm going to put the color that I used down below. And then I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm using the concealer to prime my eyelid. And then I'm going to set it with a powder. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe Kathleen palettes. I'm using that really pretty color. It's like a burgundy, but it's like a light burgundy-ish color. I don't know what to call that color. But it's really, really pretty. And that's going to be my um, transition color for this look. And I know I, I always use that palette, you guys. I'm so sorry that it's no longer uh, sold. It's suddenly available. But you can use any color that you have similar to that color. I just I just really love that palette, y'all. So now I'm going into the Juvia's palette. And I'm using that color Jezebel. I'm just going to top that onto my transition color. Just to kind of deepen that color a little bit. So just going to focus that all over my crease and you guys I keep looking by the side I was watching a show and yeah I have my laptop right there so please ignore that then I'm going back into the Kathleen palette and I'm using that deep burgundy to kind of deepen that look a little bit more I'm just trying to focus that on my crease and I'm bringing it um, all the way down to my lid as well And then I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to grab that black um, shade right there. And that's just going to go back into my crease as well. I wanted it to be a little bit deeper. I didn't have anything deeper than that. I wanted a deep cranberry shade. But I didn't have anything darker than the ones I already had. So I went in with a black color just to give me the look that I was looking for. So yeah, so I'll just go ahead and deepen in my crease. And then I went with a flat brush and just kind of blended the color all the way down to my lid as well. Then I went back into the same color that I used as my transition color just to blend everything together. And then I'm going to go and line my eyes. I'm using the NYX Black Matte Liner. I need to get a new one, you guys. I just realized in that video that I was running out, I need to get a new one. But anyway, that's what I used to line my eyes and then I went in with the lashes that I got from Roge and Roge I actually got the idea from um, Ronke Raji you guys know her on YouTube she's amazing she's always in the lashes so I went ahead yeah that, that, those lashes right there I went ahead and I ordered mine and I really like the way they look they're so pretty they're gonna be like my favorite lashes no joke and then I'm gonna use the NYX um, concealer as my concealer today I haven't used this concealer in a while but I used it that day and it was pretty good. It's actually a pretty good concealer. It gives you really good coverage. And then I'm just going to blend everything out with my Maybelline Beauty Blender. You guys already know I rave about this beauty blender a lot. 
so I'm just going to use that to blend out the concealer and to set my concealer today I'm using my Laura Mercier powder I know you guys were expecting my Sashi Buttercup but I wanted to give that a break and just go ahead and use my Laura Mercier powder I actually really really love this powder to set my concealer the only thing is I don't like using it a lot because it's pretty pricey so I like to use it just on special occasions or when I just you know feel like giving my Sasha Buttercup a break but this powder is really amazing for setting concealer. If you guys already have the translucent one, you know what I'm talking about. This powder is amazing. I kind of want to start using it more. But yeah, and then I'm going to use my um, NYX um, Stay Matte Powder to set my, my the rest of my face. And then I'm also going to go back in with a stippling brush and dip it back into that powder, into the Stay Matte Powder. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right there. And I'm just going to use that to set, to take off the excess powder from my face. I've been doing this this trick for a while. And it actually, if you want your concealer to look blended out into your skin, just dip your stippling brush into your face powder and dust off the excess powder from your face. It works, it works wonders. I like it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set my entire face again using the same powder you guys know i have extremely oily skin so that method works well to prevent really and then i'm just going to go in with my outer contour kit to contour my face and i'm using the um uh, what is it the real techniques contour brush for that and then i'm also going to go ahead and contour my nose as well And then I went in with my Milani blush. I'm going to leave the name of the blush down below. But that's what I'm using as my blush for today. And for highlighting, I used the, Smash, the Smashbox um, collaboration with Casey Holmes. It's in the color gold. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. When I first got it, I was really obsessed with it. So I'm just going to use that to highlight my face. You know, my cheekbones, cupid's bow, bridge of my nose. All that good part. All that good Right, so just want to go ahead and highlight everywhere you want the sun to naturally hit. Yeah, what am I talking about, y'all? I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're doing. Just highlighting away, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, highlight my inner tear ducts as well using the same highlighter. And then I'm gonna go back into the Kathleen Lights palette, and I'm just gonna use that color right there to kind of smoke out my waterline. The same color that I used to dip in my crease. That's the same color I'm using to line my waterline. Not to line my waterline, to smoke out my waterline, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about today. But anyway, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Expresso Lip Liner. And I'm going to go in with this liquid lipstick that I got from HEB. I forgot the name of that, but I'm going to put it down below. And then, it's a really nice color, girl. <laughs> but it looks it looks really nice and then I got a call from my age from my um, insurance company but anyway then I went in with a gloss to kind of line my um, to make it a little glossy and then I set my face with my pixie spray and that is it you guys thank you so much for watching I love you guys bye, -bye.